Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can run Laravel project downloaded from GitHub. So here you can see, I have a project over here, Laravel project, as you can see. So I want to run this on my device. So for it, first of all, we need to download the zip file. So just go to your certain GitHub project, Laravel project, then you need to find the code button. Just click on it and here you will see download zip button or option here. Just click here and it will download a zip file here you can see so we need to go to the download location and this is the location so let me just cut this project from here and i am going to paste it in new volume e over here Control v or you can just paste it like this as well so here we have the zip file so we need to extract this so i am just going to right click over here then click on extract all and i want to extract it directly to the e drive so I'll just select it and click on extract and there you can see it is extracting and the extract is complete. So we have the Laravel project over here. So right now if we just go inside there you can see this is the Laravel structure. So we'll go at the top and I'm going to say over here CMD and press enter. It will open a common prompt like this. So let me just zoom in and here I'm going to say composer install and press enter. And there you can see it uh, give us some warning that it requires PHP 7.1 but our PHP version is 8.2. So what I am going to do is that instead of uh, composer install, I am going to write over here composer update and press enter. So this will uh, update this project to 8.2 and uh, it will also install some required packages and files for this project. So this will take some time. So right now I will just fast forward the video. And here you can see composer update command is done. So right now we need to say here npm install. And when the npm install is done, we need to write on more command. And there you can see npm install is done. So right now we are going to say here npm run build. Press enter. And uh, there you go, it is done. So all the command that we need to do is complete. So right now here, uh, what we need to do is that we need to open this project in a code editor. So I'm going to open this project in Visual Studio Code. So in order to open the project to the Visual Studio Code, what we need to do is that we just need to go to the project directory and we need to say here code dot and if I now press enter, this project will open in Visual Studio Code and there you can see. So right now, uh, first of all, we need to go to the dot env file. So here you can see dot env dot example. So we need to rename this to dot env. So I'll just right click here, then click on rename, and I will rename it to dot env. There you go. And here you can see the database name is Basi Lara project, right? So we need to create this database. So for it, we need to open XAMPP over here. Just open your XAMPP and run your Apache and MySQL. Here you can see my Apache and MySQL is running. So after that, you need to go to your browser. Then we need to see over here XAMPP. I mean, uh, we need to go to the PC my admin. So here we are going to create the database, which is this one, basic Lara project. So let me just copy this name. Then we need to go to our PC my admin, and here you will see a new option. Just click here. Then you will see option called create database. So give the database name and click on create. So the database is created right now. Here you can see. So right now, uh, what we need to do is that we need to check for the SQL file. So here you can see we have the SQL file in our project. But if your project do not have any SQL file, then what you need to do is that you need to write over here PHP artisan migrate and press enter but since we have the sql file so we will not run this command so let me just remove this and <clears throat> what i am going to do is that let's go to our pc my admin then here just click on your database name which is basic lara project then click on import then click on choose file and we are going to choose the sql file which is this one here you can see basic lara project dot sql just select it and click on open then go down and click on import and there you can see that database is imported 
so here you can see all the table here so right now we need to run our project so in order to run the project you need to say over here php artisan serve then press enter and it will run our project so right now we just need to copy this then go to our browser paste over here press enter and we might get a error that uh, no application encryption key has been specified so here it will show us a command that is to addition key generate so we need to run this command so let me just copy it and i'm going to stop it and in order to stop it we need to press ctrl plus c so i just press ctrl plus c and then i'm going to paste this command tc addition key generate so let me just copy it paste over here press enter and let's run our project again so i'm going to say here php artisan surf press enter and there you go so right now if we refresh our project will run properly so there you can see those data are coming from the database and if you now click on register there you can see it is working properly so yeah this is how you can run your laravel project downloaded from github if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials